Hey everyone, Joey Kissimi here and welcome to the members area of the Timeline Slicer Pro. Now this is a tutorial video on how to use the Timeline Slicer Pro and how to get the most out of it. Now in this video we're going to talk about the images, the sizes and specs uh, of the images. We're going to talk about the functions and tabs of the Timeline Slicer Pro. And we're also going to show you how to upload your images, your final images, once you're done with them, how to upload them to your Facebook timeline. So to start with, we're going to cover the three basic areas of the Timeline Slicer Pro and the image sizes and specs that's required by Facebook. So the first one is obviously the cover area. This area here is 851 by 315 pixels. That is huge. That's a huge image. And this is one of the biggest problems that a lot of people are having because they don't have an image big enough to cover this area. And this is one of the main reasons why I created the Timeline Slicer Pro is to help those people uh, come up with an image big enough to cover this area. Okay. Now, the second one is the profile pic. Now, this area here is 160 by 160 pixels, and it's used for your personal image or a logo or anything that's singular. You really don't want to use like a, a, a big group of like 50 people here because it's a small area. So like a picture of just one person or a logo would be good for this area. Now here's a real quick and important note about this area. Even though the image is 160 by 160 pixels, Facebook requires you to upload an image of 180 by 180 pixels. Now this is just like Facebook to go ahead and make it difficult for us, right? Well, I've got you all covered because the Timeline Slicer Pro automatically does this for you. It crops the image at 160 by 160, but it downloads it at 180 by 180. That way you don't have to worry about any type of editing or anything like that. You can just upload it to Facebook and not worry about it. The third area here is for your thumbnails for your applications. Now this area here is 111 by 74 pixels. Very, very small area. And this area is mainly used for your timeline pages, AKA also known as fan pages. Now a real quick note about this area here, and again this is just Facebook being all weird about things. I don't know why they just can't leave everything the same, right? But anyways, on your personal profile page, the one where you collect friends and all that stuff, you cannot edit this area. The only way to edit it is if you have some type of customized app. Other than that, you cannot edit it. Now with a timeline page or a fan page, you can. You can edit all the apps. The only one that you cannot edit is the photos area. So now that we got that covered, we're going to go ahead and move on to the functions and tabs and, and how to use the Timeline Slicer Pro to get the most out of it. So the first area here is right at the top. This is the function tabs. This is where you edit the background color, add text, crop your images, and all that good stuff. This section here, this is where you, you can add uh, images uh, one by one, or you can drag and drop the images to right to your slicer. Uh, you can download the entire area here uh, with in one shot. This area down here is where all your images that you upload will be stored. So let's go ahead and upload an image so you can see how it all works, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do is just click on this Add Image button here, and you just go ahead and find any image that you want to play with. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. My Sun Maximus point in there, okay? And once it's uploaded there, guys, you can pretty much just move them anywhere you want, okay? And you'll notice here on the right-hand side that any image that you upload will be stored here on the right-hand side, all right? So let's go ahead and show you some of the features that you can use and some of the cool tricks that you can do with your images, all right? So right here, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and move him right down here. But as you can see, this image is way too big, right? So you can go ahead and resize that image by clicking, uh, right or left clicking, sorry, left clicking and holding any one of these boxes areas here, okay? And then you just go ahead and drag it, you know, spin them around if you want, and just resize them to any way that you want, okay? Um, but also, if you have some unwanted areas, like right here, there's a lot of white area here. Okay, if you want to get rid of some unwanted areas, all you have to do is just click on the cropper tool here. 
on the top part. And now you have a little area here to crop with. This is the cropping window. The area in the back you see that is shaded, okay? That area will not be cropped. Only the image that you are working with, okay? Even if you have multiple images there, the image that you have highlighted is the only one that will be cropped. Okay, and to do that, all you got to do is just, again, this little box is just click and hold and drag it around like so, okay? Or you can just drag the entire thing and move it around like, like so, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this like that, and I kind of like this here. Okay, and once you're done with it and you have a desired look, just go ahead and click on the uh, check mark there, and you can see that the tool automatically cropped it for you, all right? So once you got that done, just go ahead and move it wherever you want. I'm going to go ahead and move Maximus right here because I think he'll be happy there. All right. Now, another thing that I'm going to do here is you can flip this image left to right as well. Okay. So let's say you want to move them over here at the top. Okay. You want to go ahead and flip them over. You see, it's another cool feature that you can do too here. So you can do something like this. All right. Or just move them up here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move them up here because I kind of like them that way and just move them right here. OK, now you can also do this here, flip them upside down, rotate. OK, you could do so much with this stuff. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go ahead and leave them right there. All right. Now, here's another cool tool that you can do with this that let's say you have you want to go ahead and uh, make them a little bit lighter and have them like a little uh, like transparent. You have an opacity tool here that you can also just scroll up and down and you can see him. Now he's becoming more transparent and more transparent. You see that? Very cool, huh? So let's go ahead and leave them normal. I just want to show you some of the cool uh, little tricks that we can do there. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload another image. Or actually, I'm going to go ahead and drag another image here because this is another option that you have. If you don't want to upload an image uh, using this button, you could also drag images here. OK, you can also drag multiple images like you can highlight multiple images like so and just go ahead and drag them there if you want. OK, now here's another cool image or uh, cool trick that I uh, that I get to show you down now that we have more um, more images here. Now, you may notice that we have some images uh, stacking on top of each other, right? Like you see that there and it just doesn't look good, okay? Now, let's say you, you want to move this picture in the background, okay? Well, it's very simple. All you got to do is just go right here to the right-hand side, okay, where all your images are stored, and you just go ahead and click on the desired image that you want and move them wherever you want. You see? Now the image went, went ahead and moved up to the front. And you could do this with any image that you want. Uh, and it's just a pretty cool stacking little feature that we just added uh, to the tool. And, um, you know, I'm just loving it and people are loving it. So let's go ahead and uh, continue here. Uh, so we could go ahead and finish here. And I'm going to go ahead and just resize some of these tools or some of these pictures here uh, really quick for the sake of this video. I don't want it to be uh, real long. So right here, I have this little image, and you want to put them right here. Now, guys, don't worry about being all perfect here, okay? You don't have to, uh, you know, cover this whole area, okay? This is why the background area, which we're going to show you in a little bit, you can change the color to make this whole thing look uniform, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave them there. I'm going to put him, this guy here really small, put him as the little app image here, okay? And then right here, me playing around with Supermax, I'm going to go ahead and flip them around, all right, and maybe put them back here, okay? So we're going to go, well, well, let's put them right here, all right? Now we're going to go ahead and add some text. To do that, we'll already have some text here that automatically comes there, all right? But if you accidentally delete it, don't worry about it, because all you have to do is right up here, you see this A, okay? All you have to do is just add or click on it, and automatically a text button or text area will, will come up here. Now to edit that area, all you got to do is just come up here to this uh, field here and just go ahead and type in anything that you want. Okay, I'm going to put it here father and son. All right. And you could also resize that to any way you want. All right. 
Uh, you can move them around again just any way you want here. If you want to change the font, all you got to do is just click on this font area here. You have uh, some of the basic ones that uh, people just use. You know, uh, you just go right here. My favorite one is here this uh, in ancient German Gothic. Okay, so I like to use that one. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one there. Now, um, to change the background or the font color, all you got to do is right here, you see with this little box area here, this is where you get to change the text color. So you just click on that, the color wheel will come up, and you get to drag this around any way you want. So we're going to go ahead and put black here for now, and we're done with that. Okay, and, and that's pretty much it here as far as images and, and these buttons and all that stuff goes. Okay, uh, pretty much now you're left with uh, a real ugly looking uh, images here right so we want to make this all look uniform and to do that all you have to do is just go ahead in here and click on the background color okay and then just again just go ahead and drag this little circle to anywhere you want I'm gonna go ahead and put it right up here so it can be pure white okay well let me get more and more white here there it goes all right and that's pretty much it as you can see I've got a nice uniform looking image here all right, now we're pretty much ready here to go ahead and download uh, this stuff. Now, guys, we have some different features here. Okay, uh, if you've did, if you've done everything here in one shot like I did, you can just go ahead and click on download all. A little thing will pop up here. Just click on OK, save it on your preferred folder, and let me go ahead and show you what it looks like here. Let me go. Here's my folder here. You'll get a zip file that's called all.zip. Now all you got to do is just unzip it. Okay, a little folder will come up. Let me go ahead and, and open it here. And each area here, let me just move this area here. Each area here, the cover, the profile pic, and the thumbnails will be named to its specific area. For example, uh, the cover area will be cover.png, the profile will be profile.png, thumbnail1.png, and so forth. Okay? And then you just take it to Facebook and, uh, and upload it there, which I'm going to show you right now. Now, another uh, option here is to go ahead and download each specific area individually. The files will be named the same way, cover.png, profile.png, and so forth. Okay, now there's a real quick note here. You don't have to do all of this stuff at once. Okay, guys, you do not have to. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and delete this stuff here. So I could just go, oh, this is how you delete it, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Okay, but this is how you delete it. You just select a, a specific uh, little thing there, and you just go ahead and delete it. Okay, now let me just show you this, okay, because I know a lot of people are going to get confused. Uh, you know, may, they may not want to edit the entire thing or do it all at once. You don't have to. You can actually just do one image at a time. All right, you could just do the profile if you wish. Just put them here like so. Size them up any way you want like so, okay. And if you like that, all right, then all you have to do is go, just go ahead and download that specific uh, uh, profile pic or that specific image area and, and just save it. And that's it. You could do one at a time or just do them all, all right? So now that we got that covered, let's go ahead and show you how to upload this to Facebook. Now to do this, folks, is really simple. All you have to do is just go to your personal timeline page whether it be the profile page or your timeline page uh, also known as fan page it doesn't matter just go there okay log in and then just go over there and right here this is one of my personal ones here and all you got to do is just hover over any one of these areas i'm going to go ahead and do the cover area just click on this change cover little thing there click on upload all right and then just go ahead and go right here and just click on what, uh, you know, obviously the cover.png and then click on open. That's all you have to do. Okay. It'll upload it. You don't have to drag anything nowhere. Okay. Because it, it, the slicer automatically does it or, or, or cuts it up and slices and dices it to the exact size and specs that Facebook requires. So all you got to do here, just click on save. Once that's done, all you got to do is just go ahead to the profile pic and do the same thing. Hover over it. This thing will come up here. Click on it. Upload the photo. And then you, you do the exact same thing. Okay. Now, I really want to touch bases here on this area here. 
okay, on the thumbnails and applications area. As I mentioned before, the only ones that you can actually edit is your personal, or not your personal, but your, your timeline page or fan page. That's the only ones that you can edit. And to do that, you go ahead and just click on this little here. You might Yours might be different. It might say one, two, three, or four, or zero. You just go ahead and click on that. All right, once you got this all open, you'll see these little areas here. You hover over it, and a little pencil will uh, go ahead and, and highlight. All right, now you just go ahead and click on it. All right, and you go here and click on Edit Settings. Now, this area is a bit of a pain because it takes you through a whole bunch of steps. So, right there, you could actually change the name of the thumb of that application, which is kind of cool. And you right here, Custom Tab Image, you just go ahead and click on Change. All right. This window is going to pop up here, and you're just going to do the same thing. Click on change, and this is going to pop up here. <laughs> I mean, like I said, Facebook just takes you through a whole bunch of st unnecessary stuff, right? But right here, when this pops up, just go ahead and click on browse, and then right here, you're going to click on your desired thumbnail images, whether it be one, two, three, or whatever. We could go ahead and click on there, click on open, and that's pretty much it. Now, there's no save button here okay so to see the changes you basically have to go click on uh, your, the home page here and go back to it and there you can see the changes now let's go ahead and cover the areas that you cannot I repeat that you cannot edit so we're still here on the fan uh, on my fan page let me go ahead and click on that arrow here now right here on the fan pages the photo area you cannot change this does not move you can do nothing about it but all these other apps you can change the images and the rotation and everything of it so let's go ahead and go to the profile page and show you the difference now the difference between the profile page and uh, the timeline page or the fan pages is that the timeline pages people go in there and like Okay, they like your fan page. Your profile page, people have to go there and request a friendship. So let's go ahead and go to one of my personal profile pages and show you the difference here. Now, right here, as you can see, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. It's a timeline page, right? Only difference is it's a personal one. So let's go ahead and click on this arrow here. Now, right here, the friends and the photos, they will never change. They will always be there forever and a day, right? Now, the other ones here, these are the ones that you can add and rotate. These are your apps. Now, you can see that the little pencil icon comes up or pops up. You go ahead and click on it, but there's no edit option. All right. The only thing you can do is remove from favorites. That's it. That's all you can do. All right. For some reason, Facebook decided not to allow profile page, personal profile pages to edit and change the images. It kind of sucks. I know. But what can you do about it? I mean, that's Facebook. There's really nothing you can do uh, unless they decide to go ahead and change it. So that's pretty much it here, folks, for the tutorial. We covered how to use the Timeline Slicer Pro. We covered how to use the functions and tabs and all that good stuff, how to edit the images, resize them, crop them. We even covered how to upload your images, your final images up to your Facebook timeline pages. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you still have any questions, you can reach us at our support desk at support at TimelineSlicerPro.com or you can just go ahead and jot down your comments, your questions, or anything right down below this video in the comment section. So with that said, this is Joey Kasimi. Peace. I love you for free. Out.